Hi guys, so in today's video I'll be making this very dramatic full face makeup tutorial. If you want to know how to do this, then keep on watching. You want to start with having a clean face on Kaylin Pibeta. So I'll be using the Nivea Men Pole Shade Balm as a primer. It has a high amount of glycerin that helps makeup last longer. And then I'll be spraying this LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. It helps my primer stay in place. For foundation, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation with SPF 18. I'm in shade 225. This foundation is perfect for day use because of the SPF content in it. I don't recommend this on a nightly basis. Because camouflage yut pote igag now. So shudi na ngals. And again, getting your beauty blender. Um, blend everything out evenly. Para mahayda to imperfections. Kinili ba perfect? Don't forget. And then using this LA Girl Pro Conceal and Light Ivory, um, we will be hiding our imperfections. So you hide the natural bangs on your cheeks, on your forehead, and on the bridge of your nose, and then on your cupid's bow, and on your chin. Don't forget to snatch that under the cheekbone highlight and using a beauty blender again blend everything out because blending is key to perfection and blending use dabbing motions not swiping to set everything in place have an equal smooth face to work with before baking. In fact, fat, 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 And then using this triangle sponge from Dyson Robinson's Galleria. Bake your face just where you put your cut. to serve as your highlight as well. Don't forget the bridge of your nose. But I thought I was going to go And then snatch that again. And put more on the other side. Okay. The shoe. Okay. Moving on to eyebrows, grab any brown gel liner. Kanisha ako akay pa sa color shop kolon and a tiny angle brush. First, you wanna outline the lower part of your eyebrow, and then on the upper part as well. on fleek because key light is life. Oh, and using any banana powder you will be setting the uh, conceal. Moving on to eyeshadow, grab any orange color and using a shaded brush put it on your crease. This will serve as your transition color. Get a bigger brush 
and blend. Next, you want to grab any marine color of any palette that you have and a bigger fluffy brush. Use this to darken up your crease. Apply it mainly on the outer third of your eye, working your way in. Use a bigger fluffy brush to smoothen out any harsh lines. Next, using a darker grayish tone brown, focus it on the outer corner of your eyes and blend it in. Remember, the lighter the shadow, the bigger the brush. The darker the shadow, the smaller the brush. Always take your time on blending your shadow. This good makeup depends on how great everything is blended. Lastly, to further darken your eye look, grab a black shade from your palette and darken the outer corner of your eyes even more. Don't forget to blend. <music> to blend everything in, use a bigger brush and blend every single color on your eye. And then spray your flat brush and dip it in a golden pigment or shadow. Put it on the center of your lid. And then going back to that maroon color, put it on the outer corner of your eyes, getting rid of all the harsh edges that was created by the golden pigment. And ahead and retouch the black shadow for you to achieve the perfect ombre effect. The shupa. And then using your brown shades, buff it on your lower lash line. Actually, I don't use any um, pencil eyeliner on my waterline most of the time. I use this to achieve the smoky effect and make my eyes even bigger. It's a big mission. But big picture and then using this powder brush, you will be wiping away all those baking. And then moving on to eyeliner. So first I'll be drawing a line. Um, it will serve as a connection from my lower lash line. And then on that tip, connect it onto the middle of your lid and fill everything in. Don't forget to draw a line connecting your inner corner to the middle part of your lid. And then do the same on the other side. Moving on to lashes, I'll be curling this lashes first before putting on mascara. I'll be using the Super Curl Volume Mascara by Maybelline. I just um, look down and apply the mascara. Don't forget to put on your lower lashes as well for you to achieve a wider eye look. And then for you to achieve that crisp wing look, bake your outer corner. And then I'm using the Taiwan lashes with a clear fix eyelash glue. You want to let it dry. The UPGCs. And then put it on your lashes. Make sure to press the false lashes onto your real lashes. And then grabbing that maroon shade, buff it again on your lower lash line. And back, back, and yes, lower and lower. And using um, 
the golden pigment that you used earlier, put it in the inner corner to brighten up your eye and on your brow bone as well. Next, don't forget to dust off the powder that you have put on the outer corners of your eyes. And then, next to contour, using this contour shade, I usually do a dabbing motion first and then swipe it all away. Don't forget to place all your contours on the perimeters of your face. So on the temples and the upper part of your forehead. Your temples again. Going down to your cheekbones. Dabbing motions first before swiping. This is, by the way, bronzing and contour in one. This will bring warmth to your face and define it even more. Moving on to blush, I'm using this unbranded contour palette. Um, I suggest you use an unpigmented blush for you to work with it easier. I usually apply it on the apples of my cheeks, breaking my way out. And sometimes I put it on the center of my nose for a more natural look. And then I grab the grayish tone contour shade and define my cheekbones even more using a smaller shader brush. And because I have a big forehead, just as big as an airport, I will use this to contour even more in my face. And for me to achieve a fake nose job, I usually do my nose contour, um, connecting the inner corners of my eyebrows to the tip of my nose. This will give you a very snatched nose. And for that blinding glow, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, that glow. Mmm. This grubby postal traffic in the uniform. Pah. Mmm. Mmm. Pah. That you can shoot. Pah. Don't forget to use a small defining brush for your nose highlight. What I usually do is I create an exclamation mark on my nose and I define my inner corners even more. Don't forget to put that shiny shimmering splendid on your forehead as well. And if you feel the performance level or you shine, then go ahead and grab your powder brush without any product on and um, wipe it all over your face to get rid of that shine. And then for our lips, I'll be using this Anastasia in Hollywood. And then apply it on my cracky lips. Okay, the budget is perfect, no? So, I'm lips. And because I want everything to be over-exaggerated, I usually overdraw my lips. I don't want to wear lips, I don't want to wear lips because I don't want to wear lips. And before I forget to put on highlight on your cupid style. Happy to see you guys, guys. Don't forget to put on your lips if you want to. And then put on some gloss. I like to put it on the center and spread it away using my fingers. Alright. And then smile for the camera, baby. And then, last but not least, let's set everything up using the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. Pack and anons na mga amega ko! Thank you so much! So that was it for this makeup tutorial, mga amega ko! Shopang nga tawil sa unka! I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.